Hi Aquarius, this is your Twin Flame Love Reading for October. Just praying and saging your energy in our space. If you can close your eyes, take a deep inhale. Breathing in the breath of God from the universe. Exhaling. Inhale. Feeling that crown chakra opening as you're breathing in love and light through your body, through your I am pillar. Releasing the stress and anxiety from the day coming from gratitude. Taking one more deep, deep inhale. Dropping into your heart space. Calling forward your ascended masters, your spirit guides and angels. Calling forward the angelic realm. Declaring this our sacred space. Setting the intention you are receiving accurate and precise information. Guidance from your angels. Any healings, clearings on behalf of your angels. And so it is. Welcome back. What guidance do we have for Aquarius? Angels, please. Happy Sweetest Day. Okay. What guidance do we have for Aquarius and their person for their twin flame journey? One more, please. Thank you. So what what jumped away jumped away right away is past life. So you and your person share many past lives together. Uh, I feel that one of you is really working on your third eye and seeing things more clearly. You've gotten recently a lot more clarity. Um, for somebody precise, they just showed me something with New York. So you either traveled to New York or something to do with New York. There is some communication coming forward, so perhaps you two have been separated. Uh, for some of you, this person has ghosted you. They've picked up their phone. Um, I just called to say I love you uh, multiple times to try to reach out, and they just they weren't able to. For somebody on this union, you're actually fighting for your own freedom, wanting to run away from the union. So this one is has a great deal. So this one is you're opening up your spiritual gifts. So it's almost like Pandora's box has opened up. I feel for the Divine Masculine because my crown chakra is really tingling. You've had a huge awakening and you're in enlightenment. You're going through an awakening. You're going through ascension. My skin is getting all itchy. My heart is racing. You're, you're having a lot of ascension symptoms is what your angels are saying. All right, what do we have for Aquarius for the Twin Flame Journey for October? Angels for the Divine Feminine. Thank you, angels. So getting to know each other. So your person, when they return, your angels are saying, get to know them very slowly. This was a forgiving and learning lesson. So Divine Feminine, I feel that you have been going through a lot of trials and tribulations. Very difficult. Like my heart feels very heavy. I feel that you're very guarded right now. Your person is going to come back and offer an apology because they are on their knee and their sword is down. So I feel that your person is having uh, a change in heart. Um, I just heard that song. Totally Eclipse, totally eclipse of the Heart. Um, so bad with songs. One more for the Divine Masculine for Aquarius. So in the past, your person has been a little deceptive. Maybe they didn't really communicate how they felt. Um, for some of them, I'm seeing there is a possible third party. Pay attention to the red flags. So your person may return and not be ready. So they're calling that the false start. So this is where your third eye, you need to really work on your third eye and trust your intuition. And only you can determine, Aquarius, if your person is ready or not. Guidance and cards for the union. Thank you, angels. So your angels are asking you to give it a chance. And again, only you can decide. I feel that some of you, you're talking to people that are not on the union and they really don't get it. The twin flame journey. The twin flame what? Um, love yourself first. And I feel that because this is on the sacred space that you both struggle to not love yourself enough. In the past, you haven't set healthy boundaries. You've struggled to say no. 
Um, for some of you, you've been in a very, very troubled, narcissistic, uh, gaslighting relationship. And your angels are saying, you're not learning the lessons, so the universe keeps repeating the same lessons to you. So really, take this time, if you're separated. For some of you, I feel that your person is coming back, you have taken them back. Just focus on you. Focus on being the best version for yourself. In the past, you've overgiven. So you've been that person giving from your self-love cup, giving, giving, giving. Your angels are asking you to put the divine first, put you second, and love yourself enough to set very healthy boundaries, um, Aquarius, because you're so you're such a loving, enduring person, and you give so much that this is your time. This is your time for you to really love and nurture yourself is what I'm hearing from your angels. Thank you, angels. Can I get some clarity for the Divine Feminine? Two cards, please. Two cards for Aquarius. So some of you aren't sleeping, having some nightmares, some self-sabotaging beliefs. Um, you're looking for a very stable commitment. You're looking to stabilize, one, yourself. For some of you, you really, you blamed yourself. And some of you um, struggled with... I, I didn't see the codependency, but some of you, this really broke you free of codependency issues, of really healing from abandonment. Some of you, father abandonment issues. Divine Feminine, you've been through a lot. And the Divine Masculine, too, has been through a lot. But I feel that you're a little more advanced on your spiritual journey. Your Divine Masculine does want to come forward and offer a romantic gesture and give you that love cup. So they do, for some reason, they're showing me your person has really been thinking about kissing you, um, waking up and having coffee with you. Your person, and for some of them, your person might have um, a drinking problem is what they just showed me. Because I, they, I just, they just showed me like a drinking cup. Um, so pay attention to the red flags is what your angels are saying. So heartache and soul searching. So this is what you're receiving on the sacred space. So some of you have gone into hermit mode to really go. And I think hermit mode isn't a bad thing. Hermit mode is really when you go inward to heal. How is the Divine Feminine in her heart space, angels? You're longing for your Divine Masculine. You are mastering emotions. So you're really working on... I feel that in the past, you just would like, bah, you would just say whatever's on your mind. You are reminiscing a lot right now about the past. And you're waiting for your person to come forward with divine intervention, with, with forward movement. You want more tranquil times ahead. So you're tired of crying. You're tired of being so upset. You're wanting just to come from a place of peace. Okay, what's going on for your person in their heart space? Thank you, angels. And I'm burping. So burping is usually fear. Thank you, angels. So your person is recognizing you. They are. They had that aha moment with you. They are looking for a destined opportunity for you. And for some of them, they are on a karmic journey, so they're in a karmic cycle is completing. They have, they are getting spiritual guidance. They they've gone inward. They're healing. Um, I'm hearing some of them are seeking help on their addictions. Some of them are just, yeah, they're looking to bring forward a foundation, a commitment. They're getting spiritual advisement. So not only are they listening to their guides, but they, some of them are getting guidance for um, the drinking, the addictions. And what's going on in the sacred space in the heart? Thank you, angels. So a cycle is completing. And you're both wanting to come together to work together. And what is the possible, and this popped out, the Divine Feminine. So, so didn't we get a Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine? What is the possible outcome for the Divine Feminine Angels? Divine Masculine. My inner child always gets so upset when somebody gets too many cards. 
And for the union, thank you, angels. So the Divine Feminine received one card. Um, you're looking for a nurturing commitment, for a nurturing, a Divine Masculine to come back, being or offering you more love and more nurturing. For the union, you both need to let go of and work on your defense mechanisms for this union to evolve. Um, I feel like you're going to have to get out of hermit mode, come out of hibernation. For the Divine Masculine who received more cards, my inner child said, they are working on manifesting this union. And they have, they're have they looking for a very passionate adventure. So for some of them, they just feel at a stalemate. They feel very stuck. So it's up to them if they can manifest and work on, on all their stuff that they need to work on stuff. They have a lot to work through, but I feel that they're getting closer. And the more you are aligned, Divine Feminine, the easier it's going to be for the Divine Masculine. So if you can come from a place of love and light and keep your heart chakra open, that's going to make it easier for the Divine Masculine to return. Because remember, they mirror, and everything you're mirroring, they're, you're, they're, you're projecting it onto them can't talk right now so have self-respect divine feminine make sure you're setting very healthy boundaries when this person returns for the divine masculine who's going to sing that song aquarius take your time so for some there is the possibility of a false start so they have to the divine masculine should be working on themselves so going very slowly pay attention to your dreams so your angels, Archangel Michael, is communicating to you through your dreams, and I feel that you both are communicating through your dreams. Let's get some lucky charms, lucky charms. So you're getting the unicorn, so believe in magic. So the ballet is, you're very talented, you're both very talented. Take time to tap into your gifts. The bee, again, you get more out of honey than you get out of vinegar. And beehive, like you're, be mindful not to work too much. Come from a place of peace. And the kitty cat is like have courage and strength. And Ganesha is here removing obstacles. I hope you enjoyed your Twin Flame reading for October. And um, please like, share, and subscribe if this resonated. And I'm sending you so much love. Namaste, Aquarius. Bye.